shit, dude. If I can't ally the Ottomans, we really are screwed. We really, we're so fucking screwed if we can't ally the Ottomans. As I don't have the money to just piece everybody out right now. Just go, go, turn, switch this. Yes, ally attitude. Oh, oh man. Oh god, so good. All right, let's uh, do that, and we might want to set a new rival. Because I know somebody, like TB here, for example. No, I don't want to set marches as a thing. GB has uh, got no allies, but I can't really sell them a ship. Also, he went to Republic. So let's see here. So what's the next war? Uh, hold on, I'll go check in a second, but first things first. And I, I've got to keep selling ships to... I don't know if I should keep selling ships to the Ottomans. Right now, he's, his ships are being sold. Um, but I, I'm afraid that if I unsell him the ships, that he's going to uh, go hostile again. And right now, I can offer to release his land. Because for some reason, he's a little bug. Bugged. Right, let's go ahead and uh, embargo this guy because he's stealing away all of my trade. Can't for some reason we still have a truce. Okay, so uh, let's check our truces here. Yeah, there's no coalition. My truce with Austria ends 24, but my truce with the coalition ends June 23, and um, I think that also includes. Learn. Doesn't include Saxony. It also doesn't in include you. No, no, I piece them out separately. What about Parma? Is my truce 23? No, it's 33. Siena is 30. Okay. What about Croatia? Croatia is 30. What about Bohemia? Bohemia is 26. 26, Saxony. Saxony's 24. Scandinavia is 23. They're allied with Bohemia. Bohemia is 78%. It's June 23. 24. Allied with Georgia in a trade league. I wouldn't want to fuck up the Ottomans right now. I wouldn't want to risk something like that. Truce with Russia. It's also 23, and they're allied with Cologne. So really, we have to wait until June 23. So, we'll do that. Just chill a little bit. No, man. I am way too happy about that. Whole situation. Troops ought to go home, though. So June 23 is when we go bananas. How, uh, how's DDR Jake doing? He's almost below 100% over extension. So that shouldn't be too long. It's one more core. Heidelberg doesn't have any unrest and it's scoring. Uh, as for barbecue, almost all of the land is scored. I think I want to leave him. He still needs to court Prague. I think I want to leave him alone for now. I mean, I actually have a big problem with Strindberg. Um, I really don't want to give him Sirads, though. No, we'll see. Because we've got no overextension, so we can pretty much do what we want. Uh, can I show all of the map? Sure. There you go. So, uh, let's see. We're probably gonna Dow Cologne in that case. They're allied with Burgundy. Can't really do anything there. Um, yeah, and then we can uh, Scandinavia as well. 
So we'll douse Scandinavia and Cologne the moment the truce runs out, which is in June. And I'll have to end up feeding Cologne to... Um, Actually, it looks like my troops are stocked out here. One army should be more than enough to deal with Cologne, and I'll have two armies near Bohemia. land these near Russia because apparently we'll be fighting them as well finishing them off once and for all you give them Lithuania yeah probably gonna end up doing something like that Good. Look at that trade. We're making a 240 now. Quite happy about this, ladies and gentlemen. Zerads pronounce it like Zerak. Will do. Or is it Zerak? Zerach. Probably one of four Rodos. <laughs> Five cannons in all of my armies. Yep, I do. Let's keep pouring this land. We're actually really close to tech 27. Just rename the province to something pronounceable. No, no, if, if you know how to pronounce a province or something, just just tell me, I'll, uh, I'll roll with it. Okay, so first things first, you're at war, so he can't join. So the first one we're going to want to do is Scandinavia. Allied with Bohemia. Sure thing. And we have to wait a month until we can declare a second war. Why isn't DDR Jake's purple colored? Uh, because he likes toothpaste blue. I didn't want to troll him. I could have, but <laughs> felt like that was... Gotta suck up to these people, remember? <laughs> nah. <sighs> nah, I figured I'd make him toothpaste blue. I need him to function properly. Wouldn't want to piss him off. Okay, now as soon as I can, I'm gonna dial Cologne here. Apparently there's coalition. I could set Russia as a coalition. I really don't think I need to though. No, I don't. So uh, let's just dial Cologne directly and be done with this. It's so nice that the. Um See, one army seems to be enough here. When's my choice with you over? May 24. Okay. There should be more truces running out, though. Yeah, like, what about Savoy? No. No. 
Ну? No, I think the next set of truces is going to end in uh, August 24. This one will do uh, the Austrians. Why not rename Okinawa to producer Johan then? Uh, that's going a bit overboard. <laughs> I mean, there's some uh, Colombians here that think they want to siege up some of this land. They certainly don't want to. Or rather, I certainly don't want them to because that land is being cored by DDR Jake right now. Switzerland getting gangbanged upon like this. Have I named a lot of my heirs? I've named one. I've named him Strindberg uh, something something Strindberg. Okay, let's get some guys to block off these provinces. Something I've been neglecting doing when fighting fighting miners like this, and then we have to chase that army down somehow. Because otherwise we won't be able to piece them out after we get the land. gonna fall like grass thankfully let's continue to chase that down also how's this doing yep it's completely cleaned up I wasn't sure I had to go check Off, uh, Bohemia here. Nice, easy, easy, and smooth wars here, ladies and gentlemen. That is key. That and enduring the lag. Also, Rodos, please don't rise up. Raise war taxes and make sure that we can make the dodge to pay off the coalitions. Lost the battle somewhere, that's so unfortunate. But that's okay. Get the siege done. That'd be nice. Smacked the Russians in the ball sack. And off to Kazan we go. He's gonna keep building units. I really don't want him to start running around all willy-nilly, so let's try and prevent that if we can. And let's move on to the next Colombian fort. Question, in your Greece campaign, after you released the vassals to make them form Germany, did you eat it all up and spit Germany again, or did you annex Germany until it was small enough to vassal and then feed it land? A real question would be, if you own all the provinces to form, e uh, for example, Germany, can you release Germany even if no one has formed it yet? 
No. Now what I did was I fed a vassal to own the provinces necessary to form Germany. Then I cancelled the vassalization. Then it formed Germany. And then it got declared upon by everybody because naturally everybody in Germany had cores on Germany. So I didn't even need to declare war on him many, many times. I just waited until he um, he got completely bumrolled. Then I declared war on him, full annex him, and then released Germany. I think I may have just force vassalized him, but you know subjects can't form Germany, so I had to uh, give him the land necessary to form Germany, and then, you know. Which was a real pain in the dick, because Germany was actually, uh, there were a lot more requirements than I uh, remembered. I could peace out Bohemia right now, I'm sure. Got 90... I got a score bog on him. Yeah, I'll have to go uh, finish off his army. <clears throat> Just kill him, please. Let's gather up those troops and see if we can't piece out Bohemia now. Um, one more month, then we can piece him out. has been taken care of now. And after that we'll start working on annexing DDRJ because I need to spend my diplo points. I'm one over the limit because I'm asking maps from Tunis so I really wouldn't want to do that. And I wonder if I can... Um Extension do. He's below 100 now. No westernizing allowed. I would, but uh, no westernizing allowed is a little bit lame now, right? Because since there is no westernization, I mean, I could promise not to westernize, but. Uh... There is no westernization. And thankfully, uh, this here guy, uh, what is it? Cologne got a whole bunch of uh, land. <laughs> got a whole bunch of land from Switzerland. Works in my favor. Also, L's ass. Being spat out. Uh, that's good. Yeah, let's see. Velakia, Zaxony, and Savoy. August 24. It's a couple months from now. By that time, we need to make sure that we've got this uh, Colombian shit sorted. Let me 
probably piece out to... Um, the Emir. Yeah, barbecue needs rest. I have to uh, let him recover. The fact that I'm on negative dip is kind of bad, but hopefully we can fix that. We can. I do need to fix the merchants though, because they're a little bit too influential and they have been for quite some time. There we go. Fixed. Can demand for points again next uh, month. I won't uh, use the ship selling thing in, in a playthrough different than this one. So it looks like we won't be piecing out Cologne anytime soon. From the looks of it, I'd like to march through Elzat. Could ask them for uh, map, uh, access speed up my progress a little bit. I need to know my exact truce with Austria. It is really August. Because the moment... Uh, The moment he can, he's going to join the coalition, and if he does, uh, that would be bad news, bears. Playing quite slow right now. That is because we have to. Not enjoying these forts, but there is no way to deal with this any other way. Thankfully, I'm going to free up an army here with that. Uh, Getting out of my way, that's gonna help out. Really hoping it's the 1st of uh, August, my truce with Austria. Alright. So we get ourselves an Inquisitor, let's do so. Wait for this siege tick real quick. Oh, 
Now, Atwix actually showed me a really cool trick. And I hope I can get to show you that. But I'm not sure. Yeah, my truce with Austria is probably going to end somewhere in the middle of this month, and then he could join the coalition, so... And let's just the 1st of August, which it could be. It doesn't have to be. Certainly doesn't have to be. See, because that's Lithuania right there. Uh, he would join the coalition unless I doubt him. But if I doubt him now... I won't be able to dial Austria. So, Dowing Austria has priority here. I don't need to set Saxony as a co-belligerent, do I? It won't help, even if I do. Unfortunately, he's just slightly too expensive. That would bring in Austria. And I wouldn't set him as a coalition, they'd just call in the coalition. You dial Lithuania directly. Let's not do any of that right now. What we could do is peace out Scandinavia. Let's destroy this fort. Before that shit. To dive into uh, into Lithuania right now. Oh, how I would love to do that. that certainly make me look a whole lot bigger on the map. In terms of development, it's absolute crap. But would sure make me look a lot bigger on the map. Pretty sure fucking Brabant has more development than Lithuania. Let's put that to the test, shall we? 
Ah, oh. they don't. Sad days. be rocking level 2 advisors for a bit because I uh, really need to save money. Well, not on the admin, of course, but uh, on the military. And I'm pretty sure Austria's full annexable. Yeah, so I don't need to save this. this. So I could just Dow Elzas right now. Uh, I've got an army freed up and I need to Dow Elzas before I can peace out Burgundy. So are we going to catch this? No we're not, so uh, there's no point in me going over there. Let's just Dow Elzas the moment we've got a free war declaration on the go. Stability effects has military access, have to cancel that first. If we have to cancel that first, then we have to wait a month before we can Dow. And so, let's see if we can't catch this definitely can't, so let's just not even use Force March. I'm actually going to switch into the Manpower guy because I can't afford this. Fortunately. 